Okay, as promised, uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, COM 2000 unit take apart. Um, this is actually off another uh, another car. They, they, all, they all seem to be dropping like flies just now. Um, the indicator is very wobbly. Just touching it basically puts the, um, the, the headlights on. Sometimes it doesn't cancel. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it to bits and we're going to, I hope you can see that, uh, we're going to replace it with this uh, with this part that I got off eBay. Right, I've just uh, taped up the clock spring so that uh, that won't move. I'll have a look and see um, how we're going to get the case apart. Right, although this is the uh, DAV 2000, um, it's different from the other DAV 2000 that I had in my other car. Uh, on the other car it had uh, two screws that you had to undo and then you've got three tabs on the bottom, two tabs on the top um, but this one has no screws and it's just got the tabs so let's go ahead and get it off. Right, now we're going to take the take, take off the spring uh, so it's just a couple of wee tabs that uh, hold it in and we'll just uh, put it over the tabs screwdriver just uh, in the wee tab and it just you push it up and again same on that side and then we'll turn it over and wee tab on this side I just push the case although this one's been a bit more awkward right so I might have to get uh, a little case opening tool just to hold that Hold that out. Last turn. I should just slide it out. And of course, does not want to come. So let's have a look and see why it's not coming. Yeah, well, it's quite tricky. Uh, the, the tabs at the end, I really had to bend them back quite considerably. And there seems to be a little clip in here that um, that seems to um, hold, hold on, but once uh, once you've um, done that, then the whole thing should should just come apart. Just wiggle it backwards and forwards, and just separate it out, or just just check the. Uh, both both sides have actually kept out. I'll we'll see what's happened. One side has now snapped back in. So we'll just so we look and see if there's any wires. Nope. So we'll just keep on wiggling it until we get the cover off. Contacts on it seem to be pins and the like. So get held in the middle by something. Not sure does what. That's it. Right, there's two little um, uh, wire connectors. They just pull off. Okay. Now it looks like there's four little black um, plastic tabs. One, two. Three and four holding the board on, so I'll just uh, unclip those and uh, get out. Okay. 
there. Let's try to do these two. And then these two. Okay. Right, and this is the uh, the indicator. So what we're going to do is we're just going to oh, uh, get a screwdriver in there and there and we're just going to prise that out. Right, and just to be clear what we're doing, uh, this centre pivot, what we're going to do is we're going to put the screwdriver in, we're going to spread the plastic apart and then the, the pivot is going to go under and out and then we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so here it goes. So there's a wee notch and just turn the screwdriver and so pull. So that's that pivot out. And then we'll just turn it around. Hopefully it won't snap back into place. And do the same. On the other side, not as different, not as easy on this side. Right, so the problem I'm having it is I can get one side, and if when I do the other side, it snaps back into place. So I've got the other side, and just and unfortunately, when you when you've undone one side, it comes. Oh, yeah, and there we go. Just so not easy, but not impossible either. Oh, I'm just gonna get the connector out. I think one of the wires is caught around something. Might have to adjust the light just to see where the wires go. Okay, that's the that's the arm out, and on the end, this is the this is the little thing that causes all the problems. And it does seem that the uh, the gre grease seems to be quite hard on it, uh, and the end is slightly rounded. So we'll just uh, just tease this out. Let's see why is this not want to come out? Yeah, and I can I can also see the uh, that the end is very very rounded. Well, it should just be a simple case of um, pulling this out, but this one doesn't seem to want to come. Tried the pliers. I think what I might do is drill a little hole in it and and see if it to uh, see if it will come up. But it does not want to play ball at all. Okay. So I've got a pair of uh, pincer pincer grips. So I'll just see if uh, if it's to do with grip and. Oh, and yes, so it was just, it was just sticking. The only thing that seems to be holding that in is very hard degrees. Right, so hopefully you can see the difference there. The white one's very badly worn, um, and that's why it's uh, so loose. Okay, and now I'm just going to reassemble it. I've got my grease, uh, so I'll just put a, a little bit on the switch and offer it up. Still very, very tight, but 
at least the end is uh, not, is now protruding far enough out. Uh, also going to uh, grease the contact surface of the switch. Not too much grease, just enough to just to just repack it. There we go. Right uh, now we'll put the get the switch back into. position. be a lot easier doing, it, doing, doing this than uh, taking it apart. Just make sure the uh, probably best to do the bottom one first because uh, you don't want to, don't want any of the tabs. I think I might have to use a screwdriver to prise the plastic apart. I'll try it once more. It should it's tapered one way, so it should a little one in, but it can straight back out again. That's it. Right, circuit board back in. Just make sure they ah before we do that. What we're going to do is just clean all the terminals. Just make sure there's no. I'm just use a little bit of uh, brake cleaner. It's just isopropyl all this stuff. I just to clean the terminals so that no grease has got on them. That's fine. And now circuit board. up and get it lined up. Okay, and connectors back in. It is a good idea to watch right to the end because there's a, a, there's a little, little issue with the uh, Airbag pins, because um, there's there's actually little bridge little bridge wires in there, and uh, when you try to put the um, the coupling back on, you've got to make sure that the uh, the they they are actually out of the way. And again, I'll just use a little bit of isopropanol to just clean up the exposed contact surfaces. There's a the slightest bit of uh, grease on them, and you could find that you've uh, you've lost contact. Okay, and we'll just offer it up, although it will not be. Snapping it straight down because, as you said, that the, the, the you've got um, you've got the airbag clips that we've got to get out of the way and that is going to be a bit of a if, uh, yeah I can see in one side in one side the pins are actually going to, going to be right in the way so I'll put a screwdriver in pen to be tabs back and that's that side and have a look down here and bend them back and just have a wee look inside and yes that's that's them that's them done so we can now just snap it back into place and you can see there and there that's what uh, that's what caused um, all the issues in getting the case uh, apart. That side was easy. That's fine. Okay, so that is basically that is basically it. Oh, almost forgot uh, the spring. Let's just put the spring back in. That's just a case of 
manoeuvring it over over the tabs. It's awkward more than anything else, but because as you push it down, the it disappears into the cowlin. So you've just got to use your use a finger to keep it keep it out. It's just a case of maneuvering it down. Keep going until until the whole spring. is in place. Right, I, I did take the uh, the plug for the radio out. I thought it was uh, sticking but uh, it wasn't. So we'll just and I also took the wee, uh, the wee tab for the cruise control. I'll just put that back in. Oh, but I'll be doing this car and putting the cruise control switch and I'll show you what I did. So there we have it, uh, COM2000 uh, removed, dismantled and put back together again, ready to go back in the car. So that's it back together again. If you've been careful and not uh, pulled any of the wires, some of the wires are a little bit in the uh, fragile side. Uh, so try not to pull too hard on them otherwise you could fracture the ribbon cables. So all in it's, it's taken me about an hour and a half. Uh, it cost me about six pounds for, uh, for a new uh, plastic, plastic bit. It probably wouldn't have taken me quite so long if I actually knew what I was doing. That's the first one I've done so if I can do it uh, you could do it too. Um, don't be afraid to get your hands in there and I've shown you how to do it. Um, as I said, that's the first time done on video. Um, so it's well within most people's capabilities. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, if you tick on the like box, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, um, click on the subscribe button. And um, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.